All right, we're going to make our brisket marinade, which is going to consist of liquid smoke. We're going to do a half a cup. Then we're going to fill it with water to the one quart line. Once that's in there, I'm going to put it in a container already labeled your brisket marinade and date it. And there we have our liquid smoke. Now we're going to get our brisket ready for marinating. We can take this in from frozen, we use this little handy dandy cutter, and we're just going to slice it open. We're going to drop it into a thermalizer bag. We're going to do two packets, which is a two pounds a piece, so four pounds are going to go into the bag. And that's going to get one cup of our liquid marinade, the brisket marinade, right along in there. The brisket is already marinated. This is just getting a little extra flavor, and a little bit of the smell to come with it. Once that's all in, we got our one cup, the two packets. We're going to zip tie it and drop it in the rethermalite. All right, we're going to take our macaroni and cheese packet. This comes four bags, already pre-made. Ready to roll. And we're going to save ourselves a little bit of time and we're going to portion them up. You should be able to get six and a quarter out of one bag, or one case will give you 25 quarters. This will be a pipeable. All you do is cut the end off. We're going to fill our 12 ounce squat cups. If you're going through a lot of macaroni and cheese, this entire bag can be dropped in the rethermalizer. And cooking time is 20 minutes. If you go more than that, your macaroni is going to be mushed. So do not go more than 20 minutes. In addition, this little reaser cutting tool that they're going to give everybody has the dual function where it actually helps you get everything out of the bag. All right, and we're going to finish up our croutons by taking the leftovers from the day before. We're just going to break them all up. About a pea size would be perfect. And it's great to use those leftovers, so we'll always have croutons the night before. And we got our ticket for our smoked brisket white cheddar macaroni and cheese. We're going to do the white cheddar macaroni and cheese. We're going to put it upside down in the container, pop it into the microwave, give it a minute and a half. Pull out of the microwave. It should be nice and smooth and creamy. We'll come on down to the steam table. We're going to take our smoked brisket. It's going to be right on top. Slide it down to the cold table. We're going to dribble our tequila lime barbecue. Get a little bit of our Monterey Jack cheese. And then we're going to top it off with those crushed croutons from earlier. And then we run it through the oven. And we're coming out of the oven. Slide that onto a liner plate. And it's going to get a sprinkle of green onions. We're good to go.